the only ones you can really trust. May God help us to realize that He'll take us through any situation we're in. I want to tell you something. I don't know who I'm talking to out there today on GodTube or YouTube, but I'll tell you one thing. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much that He died for you. You may be getting right to the end of the road. You're just about to place that you say, well, what's, it's not, life's not worth living anymore. Yes, life is still worth living if you let Jesus Christ into your heart. He changes things. He'll give you a new life. He'll give you a new start in life. Listen, I know it works because I've experienced it. Taste. Oh, taste and see that He's good. Give Him a try. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins. Let Him come into your heart. I'm going to tell you, you'll never be sorry to think about what lies ahead for those that love God. What a great, beautiful place that He has prepared for us to go to. I've said many times, i said, if you're not ready, get ready. When you get ready, stay ready. Because in an hour you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Jesus is coming back, folks. You know what? There are just two places a person goes. One of two places that they go after they leave this world in death. One place the Christians go to is heaven. And the other place that those that know not Jesus Christ, and that, that he's not their Savior, when they die, they go to hell. It says, where the fire is not quenched. Weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Can you imagine that? Being in a place of torment forever and ever. Now look, I'm going to tell you something right now. You may say, well, I don't believe in heaven. I don't believe in hell. Well, you will one day. You're going to see how real hell is. And if you have Jesus Christ in your life and your heart, you'll see how real heaven is. What a sweet and glorious place that would be in comparison to a place of torment. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want in them that fear him. God takes care of our needs. God makes a way where there is no way. I tell you, there have been times in my life I thought, well, what's going to happen next? Times of, in many different situations. I tell you, I found out that God was always sufficient. God was always there for me, as God will be there for you. Thank God, thank God. There is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Think about that. They that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. You've got a supplier that's on hand 24 hours a day. Come, you children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep that tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking God. God, help. Be careful what you say with that tongue. Now listen to this. Depart from evil. He doesn't say to stay in evil, but he wants you to come away from the evil things, and he'll help you to do that. He'll give you the strength and the grace to do that, and that new life that he offers you. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Depart from it. Get away from it. And do good. God help. Yes, we can do good because he'll help us to do. Seek peace and pursue it. Nothing. It's any better than having that peace and joy in your heart. I know I've been on both sides of the fence, folks. I've been on the side where there was no peace. The scripture says they'll cry, peace, peace, where there is no peace. But I'll tell you, with Jesus Christ in your heart and life, there's peace and there's joy and there's happiness. This is this. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. My, what else could you? You couldn't ask for any more than that. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. He's watching us all the time. His ears are open. I hear you, Don. I hear you. Yes, I'll take care of that for you. Thank God. His ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Listen, God don't like evil. God hates evil. God hates evil. His face is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Listen to this now. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth. And delivereth them out of all their troubles. My, could you ask for anything better, any better than that? You cry to Him, the righteous, you Christian, you cry out to Him, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. No matter what, what the situation is, He's a deliverer. Hey, do you know God can speak? God can do anything? God can do anything. Think about that. You can't even, you can't even think enough. And I can't even think enough of the things. 
that God can't do, God can God can do anything. He can help you because He loves you. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save us such as be of a contrite spirit. You have a broken heart. Come to Him. Ask Him to come into your heart. I'll tell you, He'll take that broken heart, and He'll make it new. He'll heal that broken heart. He'll give you joy and peace. It says, and save us such as be of a contrite spirit. Thank God, yes. He can save you. He can give you peace and joy. Listen. Whosoever call, call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus told Nicodemus one night, he said, you must be born again. I'm going to tell you, folks, that's what it's going to take to be a Christian. That's what it's going to take to make it into heaven. Not only being born again, but to live that life after Jesus comes into your heart, live for him. I'll tell you, he will. He will come into your life. You, do you know, a lot of people think that it's hard to get saved. No, it's not hard to get saved. If you really want to find Jesus, if you really want him in your life, he's not hard to, to get saved. You know, it's over in them. a minute. In 1 John, it tells us, uh, there's a scripture there, that tells us exactly, said if we will call upon the Lord. I'm going to read that to you. Just bear with me here just a minute, please. And I'll just read that out to you. It's so good. Yes, in 1 John, the first chapter, It says, uh, but if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. You may say, well, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm a good person. I don't have any sin. Be careful. It says, but if we confess, if we acknowledge that we do have sin, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Just think about that. He can, he, he's there. He's there. 24 hours a day. Call upon Him. You know, it says uh, uh, that if we, with all of our heart, ask Him to come into our heart. If we confess our sins, the Bible says this. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Folks, listen to this. This is not hard to get saved. It's not hard to get saved. Your part is confess your sins. If we confess our sins, God's part is He is faithful and just to forgive your sins. If you confess, He promises. He promises He forgive you. And He don't lie. So confess your sins out to Him. Get on your knees. If you can't get on your knees, wherever you are, from your heart, pray the prayer. God, forgive me. I'm a sinner. I'm sorry for my sins, and I want to do different. I want to be a different person. I'm tired. I'm tired of living this way. I want to change. I want to change to be with you. God bless you. I want you to know that I'm going to be praying that this message will go forth. I know it's been kind of jagged messy, perhaps, but I thank God. It's His Word I've read to you, and His Word will not return void. I'm going to be praying for you. I'm going to be praying for you that you will realize that Jesus loves you. Uh, if you're a Christian or if you're a sinner, Jesus loves you. And there's nothing he can't do. He's there 24-7 to help you if you'll just call upon him. May God bless you. Amen.